Alright guys, today I've had a little bit of uh, motivation to start an old project again, the old tricopter. Um, so I'm not sure if I mentioned in my last video, but basically I got to the point where I was almost ready to test fly this, um, and I was just calibrating the, um, well, the servo, and um, I had it sitting there and it was kind of jittering, and the servo actually burnt out and locked itself up. So that was pretty annoying. Um, I actually bought a couple of these servos. Um, I was going to make a bicopter, but that never happened. Um, now these servos are um, the same as the one that David Windestall uses, except they don't have the sensor wire or the feedback wire. Um, but I think they will be pretty good. Um, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. So one existing problem uh, with this design, I can say design, it's a real hack job, but you know, um, basically there's nothing supporting the front, so it wants to tip over like that. So I'm going to hack job it. Um, so I'm going to use these prop adapters. I'm going to put two of them on a bolt, then I'm going to screw that onto the bobbin, and that will be stand for the front so it no longer will no longer want to tip forward when it's just sitting there and there we go perfect pretty much good enough anyway I think it's nice to kind of uh, sometimes make something without actually having to buy stuff um, just use what you've got I mean who cares what it looks like if it works awesome and that's definitely what this project's going to be like. Alright, ESC options. Um, I think what I'll use for ESCs, I've got these, uh, are they called BL40As, I think they were called? Um, like DYS BL40s. Like, it's like the SN20, but like a 40 amp version. Um, they made less thrust than the SN20s. Um, they're pretty poor performing ESCs, but they can take 4S, um, and I've got them, and I think I should be able to fit them in, um, so I think that's the way I'll go. Um, the other option would be these really old 12 amp, I believe. You know what, they probably only do 3 cell, so no, we'll go with the BL40s. Alright, so I cut down this uh, servo horn, um, drew it a couple of little holes, and put a couple of little bolts in there. So I believe this is going to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out the old uh, Naze 32 Rev 5 out of my, probably my favourite quad, one of my favourite quads, um, the ZMR Slim. So I'm going to put that in the tricopter, and uh, the reason being because I found on Banggood um, a CC3D like Rebo or something, it's like an F4 flight controller, 30 Australian dollars, um, and it does D shots, so it's very good value for money, so I'm going to give that a shot, so yep, I'm going to rip this out now. So yeah, I've put on the Nase 32 Rev 5, did flash it with TriFlight, but then I actually reflashed it with Clean Flight. And I'm actually going to give Clean Flight a go. Um, Tri Flight's pretty old, like it's based on a pretty old version of Clean Flight. So at this point, I've remounted the tilt mechanism, put the servo on, trusty old cable ties, um, tested that out. So basically, I've flashed Clean Flight onto this now and set it to tricopter mode. And you can see when I um, wiggle the yaw, it does wiggle the motor, so that's good. Just put these uh, Bell 40 ESCs underneath soldered them in, got the good old gaffer tape, <laughs> not heat shrink, um, but they're kind of underneath there, which is kind of neat, kind of happy with that. Alright, so where I'm at, I am just soldering on this last ESC, so there's been a lot of wire extending going on, and of course it's spinning the wrong way. So I've got to redo this one. I've uh, got to swap the leads on this one. Well, 
well, surprisingly, this actually works. Um, so I've basically just been hovering in the lounge room. Um, what I did was drop the your eye right down to zero and then hovered it. Um, saw this in one of David Windestore's videos. Um, basically, yeah, you drop the your to zero, and you hover it and see which way it drifts, and then you adjust the servo mid position until it doesn't drift. So basically, that's where I'm at. Um, and yeah, it's seems pretty good. Um, I mean, when you punch it, it does uh, wobble about, so it's going to need a lot of tuning. But um, I think the next step is actually to put FPV gear on the front. So that's what I'll do next. So I've just got back from a day of flying, including FPV maintaining this guy. Um, yeah, pretty happy with uh, the results. Um, so as you can see, the final weight is 432 grams. And that is with like all the FPV stuff and an 850 milliamp battery. Um, tried a variety of batteries today, um, including a, a 1500 milliamp hour graphene four cell, 1300 milliamp hour gra graphene, um, and surprisingly, um, like you still get a really good amount of flight time with uh, the 850, but um, you get more punch, obviously. Um, well, because of the, because of the uh, the lower weight, it feels more agile, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, I should go over the specs on this thing. So I settled with triblades. Um, I believe they are yeah forty forty five triblades. I think they're like Dow's maybe. Yeah, they're Dow's. So they're pretty good. Um, originally I did try the um, Bullnose dual blades forty forty fives, but um, I prefer these these um. I don't know, seemed to be a better match. Um, the motors are T-Motor 1806 2300s. So they do get pretty warm. And um, it's not, it's definitely not a powerful, um, powerful uh, multi-rotor. Not at all. But it's definitely something different. So that's cool. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, I mean, I think everything else is mentioned in the video, really. It's this um, standard kind of um, camera, HS1177. With GoPro lens because that's what I like to fly. Um, Immersion RC um, 25 milliwatt VTX um, with a dipole. Now, as far as tuning goes, um, it's currently got clean flight. And during today, I was playing with the PIDs all day, and I got it to a point where it was almost flying, really, almost perfectly. Not, you know, not quite because I was kept fiddling, and yeah, then I actually made it worse, and now it's at a state where. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I get oscillations even on um, pitch. I think is where the actually oscillations coming from. It's kind of hard to tell though. Um, so yeah, I need to keep fiddling with the pids. Um, and I actually want to try beta flight. I did read on the internet that beta flight is better for tricopters than tri flight. Um, so yeah, I don't know how clean flight falls in there, but um, yeah, beta flight's the next step. Um, and I'll see if I can get it tuned really well. So now I'm going to show you a really short bit of DVR footage um, just to show you kind of uh, where I kind of got at it with it as far as the tuning and um, flyability. So here that is and thanks for watching.